Jackets are boring. That's why I've been using the same one for eight years. DWR sprayed here to keep you dry, D3O stocked here to keep your elbows pointy. YKK zippers. Ooh, is it a pocket? Is it a vent? Kill me, St. Anthony. I convinced the boss to let me review only three. The only three that interest me. The only three that are special. Let's start with Icon, a company whose water coolers are filled with Sourpuss and Red Bull. I'm not surprised they bombed this air form onto the market for two bucks fifty. I am surprised that it has industry-leading ventilation. Conventional wisdom says cut a couple slits out front, a couple more out back, so the exiting hot air venturi sucks the cold air through. Manufacturers brag about this being wind tunnel derived, but honestly, I could design that with a Dyson and some graph paper. It's a conservative solution because there just isn't room around your torso for air to flow. So Icon invents Airfly. Open the zipper bro, re-zip it to this mesh expansion bro, and you get a huge central vent bro. And best of all, the jacket is now baggier, so it billows and actually allows airflow. And so simple, so much better. Otherwise, this is just another boring coat. DWR, D3O, YKK, FML. It's 420 denier polyester, which like a Chinese gymnast is impressively flexible yet concerningly underweight. Class A abrasion only stands up to one second at 45 kph before you start shedding DNA. Number two is the Alpine Stars Halo. This colorway is actually called the number two, I assume. Where Icon reimagines the zipper, Alpine Stars relocates it. Anorak style for two benefits. One, it hides my beer belly since there's no frontal zip to bulge out when I ride. And two, the blank front allows for a big kangaroo pouch. So hey, I can fit like three beers in here. Of course I'm joking. I don't drink and ride. I drink to get through this shit. The truth is that the pooch allows you to zip the sleeves clean off and store them. This incomparable airflow in the mesh retains your armor. So the jacket is still class A rated in black night mode. Just a flesh wound. At this point, I can only assume Alpine Stars looked at their creation, got an invention erection and couldn't stop adding things. So they cut a mesh window, then another, A, hey, a summer jacket. But the boner continues, so Alpine Stars chucks a rain shell in the caboose, high viz so you can wear it over top, incorporated so you can wear it underneath. Hey, a winter jacket. Still boner. So Alpine Stars says, look, it's an anorak. Why not add loops to hold the front panel open? Probably because it would ride you side saddle like a Victorian honey. At this point, lads, just take the damn coat off. But Alpine Star says screw it. Let's add a kidney belt just to make the most obscure configuration possible. A hey, is a cardigan. This is the first time I needed the instruction book for a jacket. It's the first time I'll call a jacket truly for season. And it's the first time in eight years I'll call a jacket mine because I bought one, this one. I paid $450, which is unbelievable because the Halo outclasses $800 coats within Alpine Star's own lineup. Now let's go one weirder. Forget reimagined zippers, forget relocated zippers. Revit wonders if jackets shouldn't be jackets at all. They're asking the big questions. If you get fat enough, Will you be bulletproof? If you layer Cordura on Cordura, will you survive a crash? The answers are yes and yes, but the truth is that it doesn't matter when you can hardly move. So Revit unpicks their 750 denier Cordura and tries to knit that material into a sweater, like a tactical grandma. It works. The Revit Whitby looks right, it feels right. Only when you pick it up and realize it weighs three and a half pounds do you realize this sweater did not come from the gap. But the weighted blanket feel is oddly comforting. It's the only way my delicate generation can sleep at night. Of course, these jammies are not class A rated like the others. 
They're double A rated. You can slide for two seconds at 70 kilometers per hour. And I'm an old man, so I flex hard with the safety sweater. And pull up at the bingo hall in this and watch the panties hit the floor. So our Whitby is built for a special customer by a special manufacturer. It takes Revit's patented paper-thin armor to make a garment like this work. It also takes a company of crazy Dutch bastards with the balls to charge $600 for a sweater. I'm being hard on Revit and Alpazar's and Icon, but only because I actually love their work. The Airform is clever class ventilation for 250. The Halo is nine jackets in one, so at 450, the unit price is pretty good. And the Whitby is superhero skin. So if it costs $600 to weave adamantium, so be it. And those are the only three jackets I'd buy. One, I did. See you in eight years.